that in many times when people review other cultures, they sometimes come from the perspective of, you know, I've taught them so much. The one thing I really respected about what you did was you fused, in what my mind are the two strengths of these societies. And, you know, I kind of bridge these two cultures in my own personal life, but you have the optimism of America, which really believes that they can do anything. I mean, we've waged wars on cancer, on poverty, and, and we believe we can change those. But with the contentment and serenity of the East and, and Islamic culture, and you didn't start, you know, saying these are thugs who I, you know, kind of was bevelent with and I helped them out, you know. This man, Haji Ali, taught me something, three cups of tea. And you taught him something about changing his village into something that could be something better. And, uh, and but uh, I'm so glad you mentioned that because that was just bubbling over for me, that sense that you learned so much from your interaction of helping. And there were so many of those moments mm -hmm. where, especially when you, the first school you built, I loved that story where you were determined that like, you were there to build the school and you were going to build it and see it happen. And they <laughs> took you aside, I <laughs> yeah, took you aside and said, shh, go away. <laughs> we're going to do this and we're going to do it. And then was it Tahira who said, no, 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 you need to give me the money now. I'm going to school mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm not waiting for anybody. Right. And these were all those moments of, yeah. how, did you consciously teach us that in this book? That not only are we gonna open our hearts to, you know, to our, to our children's hearts to teaching, but to being taught mm -hmm. by another culture. Mm -hmm. Well, you also have a good point. I, the first school, it took three years to build the school. and. Basically, I was doing something that we call in America micromanagement. I made plumb line receipts and records, and I was determined I'm going to get the school built, and I'm not going to lose one rupee. And it was Haji Ali, the village chief, one day. He said, he took me aside, and in words I won't repeat here, but he admonished me and said, you know, we've been here hundreds of years, and Allah has blessed us with the light of the future through education, but you need to sit down and shut up. And he took everything, my plumb line receipts and records, he locked them up, he came back and they said, there, everything will be just fine. And I was mortified. <laughs> uh, now nothing's going to happen. Of course, six weeks later, the school got built. And it's an important lesson that we've incorporated into all our schools now that the community is involved from day one um, to implement, manage, and oversee the school in their entirety. And I'm actually not very involved in that. The communities do that. And we come up, they have to come up with equal sweat equity, free labor, free resources. We provide skilled labor materials and then mostly teacher training and, and um, but it's a and it's hard to let go because in the West we're we're very we want to be in control of all our environs and but but um, so we have to let go and yeah. and uh, empower people and but also a lot of times impatient <clears throat> you know we with that immediate <laughs> gratification we need it right then right now mm -hmm. and right. if nothing else this book um, taught you to take time out for really what's important to get to know you know, you asked all of us about our kids and, and our children in our lives, which helps build a, a common ground um, for, for life. Not just that immediate, after the school is built, you walk away, but these are people that after you become family with them.